Hey everyone, I am back with a new video and this is going to be a video of my most used art materials for 2016. So let's get started. Starting with paper, the one I use for sketching artworks that I will later color is the Reflex 80 GSM bond paper or printer paper. Um, it's not really anything special, but it does the job for my rough sketches. So this year I did a lot of watercolor artworks. So the one I've been using is the Montmartre 300 GSM cold pressed watercolor paper in A4. And I love the thickness and the creamy color this paper has. And this pad comes with 12 sheets. And I also liked using the Canson Montval watercolor paper in 200 GSM. Um, the size is bigger than A4 with 24 by 32 centimeters, and it comes in this huge pack of 100 sheets. It's also cold pressed since I like the texture of watercolored paper, so I tend to gravitate towards rough textured papers for watercolor. So another most used paper is the Quill 600 GSM cardboard. This is the one I use for my generation project and it originally comes in A3 sheets or sometimes a large sheet at around 500 by 600 millimeters and I just cut it up into the small panels. Still in the category of drawing surfaces, the sketchbook I love to use for my more refined sketches is the Reno Art A5 hardbound sketchbook. It's got regular 125 GSM cartridge paper, which I like to use with ink. It's not really ideal for watercolors or markers, but I use it with those materials as well. Then I have the Moleskine Cahier blank journal in the size large. Um, this came in a pack of three and I'm only on my second one so I've decided to use this for more rough sketches and where I test out ideas for my finished artworks. The paper is really thin and it's not ideal for watercolors or markers, but once again, I used gouache, watercolor, ink, and markers with the sketchbook since I personally like the wrinkly effect it gives. So this year I've been carrying around this big pencil case, mainly to university, but I've also been using this every time I draw in my sketchbook. So inside I've got a Staedtler 2H pencil that I use for sketching. Um, I also use the Pentel Techniclick 0.5 mechanical pencil and with that I use the Pentel AIN 2B pencil lead. I also use the Faber-Castell eraser pen and the Faber-Castell space eraser. And for inking, I like to use my trusty Pilot GTEC C3 and C4 fine liners and this uh, brush pen from Daiso, a Uniball Signo white fine liner for highlights, and these two pens for writing in my sketchbook because I also use it as a journal. I use a regular fine point sharpie and the Artline 210 0.6 millimeter marker. I also use the Ironlac 0.4 millimeter pink fine liner for details. Then I carry the Winsor & Newton Pro Markers and brush markers. I actually carry more than this, but for the purpose of this video, I'm only showing one. And lastly, I carry a pair of scissors and a glue stick by the brand Bostick.
Once again, for the sketchbook, I also like to use post-it notes to add blocks of colors in my sketchbook, similar to what I've seen other artists do. And I also use scrap paper from old sketchbooks that I'm not using anymore. Since I don't really like to draw and color on brown paper, I've decided to use it as an accent to my sketches or journal entries in my sketchbook. And now for the drawing media, I like to use the Daiso Sumi drawing ink for my sketches, but for my finished artworks, I switch to the Dalarauni Kali ink, which I received from Sketchbox. And since I use liquid ink for my line art, I use three different brushes. The ones I've loved to use for fine lines are the Reno Art 5 slash 0 round brush, the Simply Simmons number 4 round brush, and the Pentel Aquash water brush, although I filled it with Daiso Sumi ink mixed with water. For coloring, I still use my Copic Chow markers and of course the Copic various refills. I own both the 72 set A and B of the Copic Chows, but of course for this video I'm only showing one. For watercolors, I'm still using the Montmartre watercolor palette, which I believe has been discontinued already. And I plan on putting this watercolor to rest next year and upgrading, but I loved working with this palette for my sketches and artworks. Along with the watercolor palette, I use brushes such as the Princeton bamboo brush in the size 4, the Sketchbox signature water brush, and the Roy Mac Achiever round brush in the size 00. zero. Um, the last brush I actually use for gouache. And speaking of, the gouache I mostly use is the Art Spectrum white gouache, which I use for highlights and details. And that is it. Those are the art materials that I used in 2016 and loved. If you're looking to purchase your own art materials for the new year, these are what I use and what I recommend, but of course they might not work for you, so simply keep that in mind. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to also check out my social media links in the description box. I've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.